The Role of PKR Activation in Sickle Cell Disease We know that sickle cell disease is a genetic disorder characterized by the polymerization of abnormal hemoglobin S, which results in sickling, impaired red blood cell health, and downstream complications. Today, we are embarking on an important mission to gather critical intelligence on some molecular inner workings of sickle cells to help in the fight against the disease. Let's take a look inside that sickle cell. Scanning systems online. It looks like something isn't quite right. Sickle cells have higher levels of a molecule called 2,3-DPG, which binds to hemoglobin S, decreasing its affinity for oxygen. Let's check the oxygen dissociation curve. Ah, okay, just as expected, it has shifted to the right, causing premature release of oxygen from the sickle cells. This is bad news. Now the tissues may not get enough oxygen. High levels of 2,3-DPG can potentiate the polymerization of hemoglobin S into long and flexible chains, causing the cells to become sickled. Warning, low levels of energy. Oh no, another issue inside the sickle cell. The cellular levels of energy in the form of ATP are lower than in healthy red blood cells. This is really going to impair the cell's ability to repair membrane damage and remain flexible and hydrated. Now the sickled cells are getting stiffer and could get stuck or lice. Look over there! This could be important. This enzyme, pyruvate kinase R, or PKR, is modulating the levels of 2,3-DPG and ATP. If PKR is activated, it decreases the levels of 2,3-DPG. Now, hemoglobin S may be able to escape 2,3-DPG's influence and retain its grip on oxygen longer. Yes, looks like this could have an effect. The oxygen dissociation curve is shifting back to the left. This may decrease the polymerization of hemoglobin S and subsequent red blood cell cycling. Check this out. As PKR is activated, it's also increasing ATP. This could help restore the health of the cells in several ways. At the cell membrane, we can see that ATP powers ionic flow into and out of the cell. This could help maintain sickle cell hydration. Oh, look! There are enzymes powered by ATP that are repairing damage to the sickle cell membrane. ATP is regulating some of the cytoskeleton's properties that allow red blood cells to deform and navigate narrow vessels. This could mean sickle cells are better able to travel throughout the body and deliver oxygen to tissues. Thank you for joining this important mission. Uncovering this information about PKR activation could lead to a new strategy to fight sickle cell disease.